This week, our journey of self-discovery takes us to exposure indoor rock climbing, where I had to face one of my personal fears, heights. I learned that not only is indoor rock climbing a great way to overcome your fears, it also helps you build trust in others. Take a look. Hey guys, I am here at Exposure and I'm about to show you why indoor rock climbing has taken off as one of the best exercises that you can do and add a little extra confidence to your life. I'm here with Jeremy Lack from Exposure. Hi, Jeremy. Hi. I'm so excited. So I had no idea that you could even do indoor rock climbing. And most people don't. Rock climbing is a fun way for anyone to come and get the full body fitness that they're looking to get. It really will work out your legs, your core, your upper body, everything, all in just rock climbing. That is amazing. So really, you get a full body workout in, in however long you're here, the whole time you're working and out. And have a blast while you're doing it. How long have you guys been open here? We've been open since 93. End of 93. 93. How long have you been rock climbing? For 13 years. 13 years? How old were you when you started? I was five years old. Five years old. Okay, what is the youngest rock climber that you've ever seen come in? Well, we've had one kid, I guess he was about a year and a half, two years old, come in. He did not make it all the way to the top. We did have a four-year-old come in and go all the way to the top all the without way to any the top. help. Yeah. Okay, what's the oldest average age you have come in? Um, I'd say probably around 70, 70, 75. What would it take for a beginning person to want to come in and try rock climbing? What do you need? We have all the safety gear and all rented here, so all you need to bring is yourself and some athletic clothing. That's awesome. Can people come in by themselves to try this out, or do you recommend coming in with a partner? We do recommend coming in with a partner just because it'll make it a little bit easier on you. Um, if you want to come in, we do have a lot of people who just come in and find partners as they're here to climb with. Um, really? It's real easy to do that as well. We have a real close-knit community, so everyone's super friendly. When you come in, it's real easy after you get started to just go around and meet some new people. That is wonderful. Now, I hear you guys have um, two-for-one special. We have it's our couples' a, night on Monday couples nights. Couples' night. I love that. So couples can come and and work out together? Yeah, at a discounted price and work out together. And, I mean, the good thing about that also is that since you're starting new, they're at the same level. Um, instead of going and working out, you know, with your girlfriend or your boyfriend or something like that and being at opposite levels, then you feel like you're on the opposite side of the gym from each other. Oh, so it's that's something a you good can do call. Together. So you're together, you're constantly talking and having conversation. Exactly. So I see that'd be why it's, you guys call it a social kind of a workout because it's really social and a workout. Mm -hmm. We've had two people actually get engaged on couples night. How cool. How did that happen? Well, the, the first one, we had a guy who, as he climbed up the wall, left little notes for, um, for his girlfriend, little, little love sticky notes. Sticky notes along sticky the notes, wall? Sticky notes, yeah, on the wall. And, um, you know, saying things that he loved about her, real cute Aww. things like that. And then as he lowered her back down at the end after she had climbed, he, uh, he proposed there right in front of the climbing wall. That's awesome. What was the other one? The other one, we had a guy who came in earlier in the day and hung a wedding ring from the top from the ceiling at the top of the climbing wall. Wow, well, that would certainly encourage me to climb to yeah, the top. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and really, indoor rock climbing really is a mental game, right? It really is. Um, you do have to, you know, kind of step outside your box. Once you get up high, you know, um, 25 feet doesn't seem like that high on paper, but when you get up higher, it really is a little bit scarier, no matter if you're afraid of heights or not. Have you ever had people come in that have to work through their fear of heights at indoor rock climbing? Absolutely. Climb? And, I mean, like I said, it's a great way to work out your trust issues or anything like that because you do have to trust your partner. Your partner will be, you know, your safety line. If you fall, you're relying on that partner to hold you up there. So Wow. So that's a good trust building. Do you ever do corporate trust building? Because I know that works really well Absolutely. for teams. Absolutely. We do team building for corporates. Um, and we also do couples team building, anything like that. So anybody can do it, really? Yeah. I mean, any level can come in and climb. Any physical level, um, any age can come in and try it. Okay. Um, very cool. And you guys rent the equipment if someone wants to up their level or up their game and rock climbing. Exactly. And all of our deal nights, all of the gear is included in the rental. So Very cool. Now, you also do gift certificates, and you do you do guys do private lessons, is that correct? Right, we do offer gift certificates, so if you want to give it as a present, um, you're more than welcome to do that. But we also have private lessons. We have um, me personally and a couple other of our staff will work with you to show you some of the you know proper climbing techniques if you're trying to take it to that next level. If you want to really get engaged in the game. Exactly. Okay, so I noticed that along the wall it's marked 5'6", 5'11", 5'10", is that paths that people of that height should take? Not quite, not okay. quite. It's uh, 
actually, as you saw, there's tape on the walls. So right. the tapes are going to be certain routes that you would take as you climb up. The numbers are the ratings of that route. So all of them will be five dot something like you saw. And the bigger the number on the right side of that period, the harder that route's going to be. Wow. So a 511 would be a very challenging very, route. Very, very challenging. Exactly. So then if it's marked 511 on the yellow, then only you would only use the rocks that have yellow lines coming off of them? Right. You'd only use the hands and feet with that color tape on it. So it really limits, you know, your possibilities and the holes you're allowed to use as you get up there. It makes it not only more physically taxing, but also sort of a mental game. Yeah, because I would imagine you'd stand at the wall and sort of prepare. If I put my right hand here, I put my foot then. You, exactly. And then when you're up there, what happens if you don't put it in the right place and well, how to get around it? Exactly. And I mean, when you get up there, you do have to sometimes, you know, switch to plan B. What's plan B? Going to a slower route? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so now if you just take any route at all, what's that? How do you do? What's that? When in doubt, the rainbow route. The rainbow route. There I love that. Okay, so rainbow route is for the beginner. Yes. And, and, and you're sure I can do it? Absolutely, yeah, anyone can do it. Oh, well, now you challenged me. All right, let's go try a rainbow route. All right. <laughs> Okay, terrific. So uh, basically, I just want to go and just start trying to hold on to what I can. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. 